Today, guys, we're taking part in a collaboration series called Frugal Family Foods. Last year, we shared a herb crusted chicken recipe using items that we grew and raised off our own property. This month's theme is grilling. So today, we're going to make a pizza from scratch and then go out and grill that. If you're not familiar with what Frugal Family Foods is, it's a fantastic community that was put together by Amanda over at the Fundamental Homestead and Tangi from the Tangi the Caber's Wife's channel. They have a great Facebook group over there. Really a huge community sharing all sorts of different uh, wholesome meal ideas and different deals that are going on. Really the main focus is to put wholesome meals at a frugal price. So pizza, why do that on the grill? Well, it's the summer months. We all want to keep the heat outside and the mess. So it's a great start there. It's a pretty easy thing to do and it can really add a different texture and flavor to your pizza. So let's get started. <music> a bread flour the reason for this you tend to get a little bit more of a crispier crust if you're looking for something just a little bit more doughier a little bit more chewy uh, use an all-purpose general flour charcoal grill of course you could do this on a gas grill set your temperatures how you want a little bit of a higher heat you get a little bit more of a crispier crust a little bit lower a little bit more of a doughy crust as well same with kind of that flour thing I was talking about earlier <music> these holes all kind of ash over a little bit then we'll distribute them evenly across the bottom put the lid back on let things heat up just for a few minutes and then uh, wipe the grate down with a high heat oil and drop that pizza on there and cover it for about three to four minutes until things start to brown up So just one real quick tip is before you end up throwing your toppings on your pizza, you can grill some of them up actually directly on the grill or in some aluminum foil on top of the grill. Then after we get all our toppings on, we'll throw it back on and let it cook for another three, five minutes until things start browning up and that cheese starts turning a nice golden brown. Mm -hmm. 